Welcome to the future! Meet Eyes, your AI driving assistant with cutting edge technology and hazed safety and real time navigation. Eyes AI enhances every journey. Stay in control, drive smarter, and experience the road like never before. Eyes AI, driving innovation for a safer future. With 2K HD triple lens, voice control, parking monitoring, advanced driver assistance systems, ADAS, forward collision assistance, pedestrian detection warning, lane departure warning assistance, AI blind spot detection system, fatigue prevention, forward vehicle start alarm, PSD blind spot detection, 24 hour parking monitoring, all in one device. So stay tuned to find out all about it. Hello YouTube family and welcome back to my channel for another unboxing, review and test. So many accessories included at the box. So let's move on and find out all about these accessories and how you can use it. Install it to your car and experience this amazing driving assistant. One cigarette lighter adapter with two USB-A output. You can use it for your car or truck, 12 or 24 volt. This plastic, it will help you to install the cables underneath the plastic area of your car. One cable, type A to type C, with a length 1 meter. Another cable, again type A to type C, with a length 3 meters. Very convenient. One extension adapter for the main unit, with a 3M tape replacement, already pre-installed one. You can remove uh, and install the extension and it locks. So if you want you can use with or without the extension. It is your choice how you want to use it uh, at your car. And press to remove and install again this one. 3M tape pre-install it and one replacement. Second adapter for the rear camera. You can remove that and install this adapter. And we have another two screws. Mount the adapter at the car with the screws. Replacement tape for this adapter. One pre-install it and the same here. So many accessories. I like that. And of course we have uh, the power hardware kit to enable the parking monitor. And the cable length, 3 meters, the black cable that goes um, at the main camera. And another 1 meter, these cables. We have the black, it is the ground. The red, it is the positive, connect that other battery with the black and the ACC cable. ACC allows you to use uh, your radio, windscreen, wipers and other accessories when the engine is switched off. Therefore you need to locate uh, this cable in the area where is the car's circuit breaker. And connect. So that's how you will have uh, the parking monitor. After connecting that other battery and the ACC, connect uh, directly the cable are the unit, there is the input, type C. Now if you don't want, because this is optional, maybe you don't want to have the parking monitor, you can connect the larger cable directly here at the camera and then connect that, the type A, to the cigarette lighter adapter. So it is your choice if you want to use the parking monitor or not. And of course uh, we have uh, and the cable connecting uh, the rear camera to the main camera. And the cable length it is 7 meters. I think it is enough from the front to the rear. 
plug in the rear camera here and then this one goes at this port rear camera it says here nice I can't wait to install all that at my car and next of course we have uh, the rear camera let's remove the film we can see the lens Sony IMX335 5 megapixel sensor with IP67 waterproof and dust proof design this rear lens keeps you covered in all weather conditions capturing potential rear end collisions or other hazards equip it with 154 degrees ultra wide angle lens offering a significantly wider field of view compared to other products and it is adjustable 360 degrees rotation adjust it to your needs the black cable it is 50 centimeter and another cable 1 meter later I will show you how you can use this cable and of course we have in these two films electrostatic film for the 3M sticky mount install that at your windscreen and then install the camera here two I like that and let's move on at the main unit wow <laughs> two lens at the front the 2K telephoto lens gives you long range vision capturing distant details powered by the advanced Sony sensor IMX675 offer a sharp 41 degrees field of view that extends your vision up to 50 meters ahead and the 2K wide angle lens provides a broad view of the road is powered by the advanced Sony IMX335 sensor expanding your view to 135 degrees that lets you see more of the road not just what's directly ahead but also what's happening on the sides that's very convenient <laughs> definitely it will look amazing and here we have the micro SD slot 128 GB I have installed the microphone, speaker, ventilation one button here, the reset button the power button and the function button and of course uh, here we have and the adjustable uh, bracket adjust it up and down find the right position after installing at your car and of course we have the display 3.99 inch IPS touchscreen 2K HD display wow it will look amazing I like the length of the dust camera it is small so let's power it here before installing at my car and check at the settings something that I forgot at the monitor kit there is this switch it is the battery draining protection you can choose one of these options for the 12 volt or the 24 volt vehicle and the output it is 5 volt 2.5 amp and operating temperature minus 20 to 60 degrees celsius now let's power on the device hello Akio. hello and the camera are online with up and down button you can choose different languages English adjust the time and the date so easy with the touch buttons next choose the time zone format the memory card to ensure its health ok start recording 
recording. Format successful. And the camera is live. We can see and the LED indicators are flashing. Going at the settings, with the home button you can watch again the cameras. Now I'm going to connect and the rear camera here. It will restart uh, the unit for a few seconds. Hello, Akio. Start recording. And immediately is recording. We can see here the rear camera, the telephoto camera and the wide angle camera. It is in full screen. Settings again. You can uh, disable or enable the microphone. Mute or unmute the speaker. The Wi-Fi, disable the Wi-Fi. Enable the ADAS and the BSD. Enable again. You can watch the event, normal and photo. I will show you later after installing at my car. Start recording. Take a photo. Disable the voice control. Enable. Close screen. Open screen. Close Wi Fi. And we can see the Wi Fi is closed. Open Wi Fi. Instant response. Close ADAS. There it is. Close BSD. We can see here the icons. Open ADAS. Open BSD. Close voice recording. There is the icon. Open sound recording. And lock video. There's the icon for locking the video. Real time uh, recording, the date and the time. Weak signal, it is for the GPS. Outdoors I will have a stronger signal, kilometer per hour. Stop recording. Start recording. Settings again. Recording settings. Wide angle camera, you can choose 2K 30fps, 2K 27.5fps or 1080p 30fps. Telephoto camera, the same. Rear camera, the same. Rear camera mirror, disable, enable. R camera IQ mode inside car, light colored film and you can choose dark colored film or outside the car. WDR disable enable, the HDR, auto record, event cycle, loop recording, you can choose one, three or five minutes, collision sensitivity, off, low, medium or high, exposure compensation, Recorded AT, disable enable, date stamp, GPS stamp, personalized stamp, parking monitoring it is off, later I will show you when I will connect the hardware, system settings, Wi-Fi, you can choose 2.4 or 5 GHz, Wi-Fi off, on, later I will download and the app, and connect directly my smartphone at this uh, unit. So I will show you the settings uh, from the smartphone, how you can manage all the settings from your smartphone. Power on sound, disable enable, touchscreen sound, language, you can choose. Speed unit, kilometer or miles per hour, frequency, screen protector, Indicator brightness, disable, enable. Screen brightness, automatic, off, 
and you can adjust or on time and date you can adjust again time zone date format formatting reminder default settings format electronic instruction manual version number AI settings front AI you can disable enable front card starting collision warning pedestrian crossing lane departure front AI correction AI calibration will clear the calibration history and automatically calibrate again okay AI sensitivity low medium high rear camera blind spot assist rear collision warning rear camera AI correction speed recognition disable enable fatigue driving reminder of one two or four hours ADAS sound BSD sound and that is all the settings Start recording. with this button add the navigation and this button lock the video so let's move on install this camera at my car and see the video quality at the day and at the night that is the most important to have the perfect high quality resolution when you are buying a dust camera the Akio Ice is designed for quick and easy installation typically mounted on the windscreen or dashboard it's user friendly with a straightforward setup process that can be done by anyone without professional help as myself The lane departure warning system detects when the vehicle is unintentionally drifting out of its lane. It alerts the driver to take corrective action, helping prevent accidents caused by distractions or drowsiness. The device offers both visual and audible alerts to ensure that drivers are aware of any immediate risks or dangers. This multi-sensory feedback helps in reducing reaction time and improving overall driving safety. The forward collision warning monitors the distance between your vehicle and the one in front of you. If the AI detects that you are getting too close and the collision is imminent, it sends an alert to prompt braking or evasive action. This system comes equipped with ADS features such as a pedestrian detection and vehicle proximity alerts. These features work together to enhance driver awareness and reduce the likelihood of accidents. Large camera it is on wide angle, the small it is the rear and the front telephoto camera. Slide with your finger goes to the telephoto large camera and the small it is the wide angle and the rear camera. 
Next, large screen, it is the rear camera and small telephoto and wide angle. Next, wide angle, large screen. And then telephoto, large screen. And next, only rear camera on uh, large screen. And back again, large screen, wide angle, small telephoto and rear camera. And to connect your smartphone with a camera, go at the settings, system settings, Wi-Fi. And on your smartphone Wi-Fi, choose uh, the Aki Eyes. Enter this password. Connect. Aki Eyes connecting. And there it is, we have a live view. And you can uh, change camera view, telephoto, front, rear camera. After firmware update, we can see the icons after a few seconds uh, are off. Tap at the screen, now you can see the icons. And again, uh, front camera, wide angle. You can uh, Switch off uh, the microphone, we can see, or switch it on. We can see the GPS is full. You can uh, turn on the maps or off. And we can see the speed right now. I am in stop, so I will show you later the speed. Stop recording. Start recording, take a screenshot, save it to phone album, and here you can view from the microSD all the footage. Snapshot, lock it, parking, lock it, choose one of the files, download to your smartphone through the Wi-Fi connectivity, it is very fast. And then you can view from uh, the smartphone, done. You can edit. Choose a music, okay. And done. Quit. You can delete or take a screenshot. What are you seeing at this moment? back Start recording. and automatically it starts recording settings i don't like that uh, the icons uh, are not all the time in the main screen i will find that maybe it is something that i need to enable sound recording disable or enable video resolution you can choose loop recording direction one three or five minutes light source frequency 50 or 60 hertz exposure compensation adjust from minus 2 plus 2 rear mirror disable enable collision sensing off low medium or high driving fatigue alert off one hour two or four hours key voice boot voice disable enable speed unit time zone License plate number you can add, I will do that later. Wi-Fi name you can change. Wi-Fi password the same. Firmware version, format SD card. And you can do a factory reset. You can adjust some of the settings from your smartphone. Start and after installing the hardware for the parking monitor, add the settings, recording settings. parking monitoring, G sensor, or you have the option for the time lapse, 4 hours, 8 hours, 12 hours, or 24 hours, G sensor. To activate the parking monitor, turn the car off.
and if there is a loud noise near the car or someone is shaking the car, the parking monitor will activate and record for 15 seconds. There is no motion detection activation available. And to turn on again the dash cam, turn on your car. and then go to the settings, play, and here you can see all the footage for the event, normal and photo. Choose the event, you can watch from the wide angle, telephoto camera or the rear camera. Choose one of these files to watch. The Akio Eyes AI Driving Assistant is a smart and innovative tool designed to enhance driving safety by integrating advanced AI technologies to assist drivers in real time. This device provides features like lane departure warnings, forward collision alerts and more, making it an essential gadget for improving road safety. And with a high quality microphone you get a crystal clear lane sound departure. recording. The system is powered by AI, which enables it to continuously monitor the road and traffic conditions in real time. This AI-based analysis provides timely alerts to drivers, ensuring a safer driving experience. The wide-angle camera captures the surroundings, providing a comprehensive view of the road ahead. This coverage is crucial for the accuracy of its AI driving alerts especially for lane keeping and collision warnings and with the 2K resolution it offers a high quality vision for the driver. The dash cam functionality allowing for continuous recording for your trips. This feature is useful not only for safety but also in case of accidents, as it proves video evidence of the accident.
The IKEA Eyes is designed to be compact and unobtrusive, so it doesn't block your view while driving. Its slick design ensures it integrates smoothly into the interior of your vehicle. Lane departure. The IKEA Eyes is an intelligent and reliable tool for improving driving safety with its AI-powered lane departure, forward collision warnings and driver fatigue detection, it offers invaluable assistance to drivers. Whether you are commuting daily or taking long roads, this device provides the peace of mind that comes from knowing you have an extra set of eyes watching the road. Lane departure. If you found this review helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and be sure to subscribe for more tech reviews, car accessories and driving tips. Got questions about the Akio Eyes AI or suggestions for what I should review next? Drop them in the comments and I'll be happy to chat with you. Thanks for watching and as always, drive smart, stay safe and I'll catch you in the next video.